Hello everyone and hello once again YouTube. This is Mia, your daily news broadcaster, signing back in to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today. Now for this video guys, we'll give you the price analysis of the top 10 cryptocurrencies um, for the day. Alright, now a bit before we go there guys, I would um, like to invite you all to join us with this new initiative Q program here. Now, Initiative Q is an attempt by XPayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, the system uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Now, signing up to Initiative Q is completely free, which uh, they will only be needing your name and an email address. There is nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your queues can be worth a lot. So guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you would not want to miss this one. Now, here is your special limited invite link there in the description below. Now guys, um, the link shown will stop working once we're out the free invites. And a quick update, we only have 5 more slots remaining. So guys, click it now and don't get left behind on this one. Alright? Okay, so moving forward, let's go to the article about the price analysis for November 23 here. Now, does a crash in prices indicate the decaying fundamentals of an asset class? In many instances, it does. But the market is usually, or the market usually gets the fundamentals of an emerging technology wrong, both in the short term and in the long term. In May 1997, Amazon's share price was quoting at $18. Short-term expectations propelled it to $300 by December 1998, and from then, and from there, it slumped to $6 per share after the dot-com bubble burst. At that point, the market was severely underestimating its potential, and the non-believers were claiming victory. However, the model proved everyone wrong and Amazon became the second company in the history to reach a market capitalization of $1 trillion. Blockchain entrepreneur and industry advisor Vinnie Lingham said to Cointelegraph, quoting, The climate can change once more. Companies with solid use cases emerge from their development cycles gain traction and prove sound business value to make a difference and quote just because the prices have crashed it doesn't signal the end of an asset class as the price action in the near term is dictated by te technicals let's look at the charts and forecast the probable price action All right so let's start with bitcoin to usd All right during a water for waterfall decline support levels are not honored making it difficult to predict the bottom the pullbacks can usually last only for about one to three days bitcoin attempted a recovery on november 21st that failed at four thousand seven hundred ninety nine point seventy four dollars subsequently the bitcoin to usd pair has resumed its downtrend making a new low both the moving averages are sloping down and the RSI is deep in the oversold territory. This shows that the sellers are in command. The immediate support on the downside is $4,100, below which the fall can extend to $3,500 to $3,000. Any recovery attempt will face stiff resistance at the downtrend line and $5,000. Though we want to use the current fall to buy, we believe that the traders should wait for a level to hold before. 
indicating or initiating any long positions. Right, so let's go to the next token, which is Ripple to USD. Ripple has broken down in the uptrend line, which shows that it is also being affected by negative sentiment. However, it remains well above its lows, which confirms its outperformance. The moving averages has started to turn down and the RSI has dipped below 40, which suggests that the supply is outpacing demand. The next support on the downside is $0.37185 and below that $0.26913. The X or the Ripple to USD pair will point to a consolidation if the prices quickly scale above the uptrend line and the moving averages flatten out. For now, it is best to stay on the sidelines. Next we have is Ethereum to USD. Ethereum is not finding buyers at higher levels. The pullback stalled at $141.91, which shows a lack of buying support. Currently, the bears are attempting to extend the decline to the next support level at $110. Though anything is possible in the markets, we believe that the oversold levels on the RSI point to a probable pullback. We do not recommend trading on hope, hence we shall wait for a new buy to set up to form before suggesting any trade in it. On the upside, the Ethereum to USD pair will face a stiff hurdle at $167.32. The 20-day EMA is also close to this level, making it a critical resistance to cross for the bulls. There. The, the next uh, we have a Stellar to USD. Stellar is at a critical level. If the bear sustained prices below $0.184, it will be negative and can result in the start of a new down move. The lower levels to watch on the downside are 0.1547188, that is the entry day low of March 18, and 0. 1386 or 565 dollars which is the intraday low hit on december 22 last year Con conversely if the bull successfully defend the 0 0.184 dollar level the stellar to usd pair might pull back to the 20-day ema and above it to the downtrend line we suggest traders to wait for a new buy setup to form before entering any long positions. Here we also have EOS to USD. Though EOS has broken down of the critical support at $3.8723, it has not plunged. This shows some buying support at lower levels. The oversold reading on the RSI also points to a recovery attempt. If the bull scale $3.8723, a move in the downtrend line and above it to $4.493 is probable. The 20-day EMA is also located close to this level, hence $4.493 will act as a major roadblock. If the EUSD-USD pair fails to rise above $3.8723, it can slump at $3. We do not find any bullish patterns developing, hence we are not proposing a trade in it. Next, here we have is Litecoin to USD. The bulls have been attempting to hold the support at $32 for the past three days but have not been able to push Litecoin higher. Still, the oversold levels on the RSI point to a probable pullback. On the upside, the Litecoin to USD pair will face stiff resistance at 20-day EMA and above that at the $47.246 to $49.466 zone. On the other hand, if the bear sink prices below the support zone of 
to $29.653, the fall can extend to the next support at $20. Here we also have Cardano to USD. The pullback in Cardano cannot scale the $0.05 level and the price is back at the support of $0.041. If the Cardano to USD pair breaks down and sustains below $0.041, it can slide to the next lower target of $0.025954. On the other hand, if the bull succeeds through in rebounding from close to current levels, the digital currency will gain attempt to break out of $0.05. If successful, the pullback can extend to $0.060105, which is likely to act a major resistance because this is the previous support and the 20-day EMA is also close to this level. And now we also have Monero to USD. Though the bulls attempt a pullback in Monero on November 21st and 22nd, they could not push prices above $72. As a result, the price turned down once again. In this down leg, if the Monero to USD pair plunges below $60, the fall can extend to the next support at $46. If the virtual currency finds buyers at the current levels, the bulls will gain again attempt to break out of the $72 level. If this level is crossed, the pullback can continue to the next overhead resistance at $81. Next we have here is Tron to USD. Tron could not scale above the previous support turned resistance of 0.015876. $81 in the past two days. However, a small positive is that the bulls have held prices above the November 22 intraday low of $0.012219 We anticipate the bulls to make another attempt to climb above $0.015876.81 and reach the next resistance at $0.0183. However, contrary to our expectation, if the Tron to USD pair plummets below $0.012219 the fall can extend to the next lower level of $0.008444479. Now here we also have Dash to USD. Dash continues to trade near the support of the descending channel. This shows that sellers have the upper hand. Any breakdown of the channel will be a negative development that can push the Dash to USD pair down to the next support at $75. If the support of the channel holds, the bulls will attempt another pullback to scale $120 levels and reach the next overhead resistance at $129.58. We believe that the traders should wait for a trend reversal before initiating any long positions. Alright guys, so that was it for the price analysis of the top 10 cryptocurrencies um, for the day. Right now guys, all of the information provided in this video is for your news and entertainment or education only and not to be considered advice. You see here, we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own final research in order for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online today. So guys, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily news broadcaster, signing off and I'll see you some other time. Until then guys, bye.